On Saturday, women from across London converged on Clapham Bandstand to mourn their sister, Sarah Everard. Everard's remains were found this week in a wood in Kent. A police officer has since been charged with her murder. But this protest against police violence has been met with further police violence, as officers battered, kettled and arrested grieving women. The policing bill that goes to the Commons this week will allow police to shut down protests for causing even a serious annoyance. But today may be the end of that police power trip. Refusing to be afraid by what happened last night, people have come out today to say no more. I'm here outside the Houses of Parliament to ask protesters why they're here and what they want to happen next. Looking at the violence against the protesters at Clapham Common yesterday, um, I think it's quite disgraceful. I mean, a lot of people said that more police on the streets was the answer to make women more safe. And actually, I think the violence displayed against the protesters yesterday at the vigil just shows that actually the police and the system don't have any real interest in actually trying to stop sexism or making women feel more safe. If anything, their only interest is protecting, you know, the people at the top of society who are creating in this like sexism it's the same that we saw with the black lives matter movement i think people are starting to realize that these oppressions are institutional so mm -hmm. we've got to come out and protest against it just keep hearing about violent attacks on women unfortunately most of the people i know including me and me mum um violence was within our lives and it's kind of like it feels like it keeps going on and nothing changes yeah. and i think last night as well when the vigil took place and then the police also attacked the people who were protesting that also made it even that made me even more frustrated and determined to try and come to this protest because they're also challenging our democratic right to kind of take part in protests the fact that they started to kettle it and then attack people showed that there's a difference between words and actions and people want to see actions that take place i can't stop thinking about sarah everard and every other woman whose life has been cut short by male violence so I'm here with protesters in solidarity against male violence, against police violence, against Priti Patel, who this week is rushing through a bill in Parliament to try and curtail our rights. How do you feel about Labour's U-turn on the, on the bill and deciding to oppose rather than abstain? I was always going to oppose the bill and vote against it, so I'm, I'm glad that I don't have to break the whip again. <laughs> the vigil last night on Clapham Common should never have been banned and women shouldn't have been told to stay at home. And the police violence that we saw towards women was haunting. Increased policing isn't the answer to male violence. We need funding for our domestic and sexual violence services. We need to ratify the Istanbul Convention. We need material change and we need, we need social change. We need to dismantle the patriarchal structure that we live in. We're really tired of feeling scared. Like, I'm a trans feminine person who has been followed home, who has been sexually assaulted, physically assaulted, and I'm very tired of it. And I'm tired of accepting that as a norm. Seeing the way it was policed was just, you know, it didn't make sense for a vigil. We wanted something peaceful and we wanted to show that we cared. And today we got to do that peacefully in the way that we wanted to do yesterday. Yeah. And I'm really happy about that. When we speak about defund the police, it's something that we've had to say quite often recently because at the end of the day, they don't just take care of gender-based crimes. They take care of all crimes. And the way that they handle it, the way that they treat people of colour when they're being apprehended, even when you're just walking down the street, you can feel the difference. Like, it's, it's just <laughs> something that needs to change at the end of the day. And that's why we're here, you know? From feminists to anti-racists to people who simply don't want to live under authoritarianism. The people I spoke to today come from different political traditions but are united in their resistance to state terror. The people in the palace behind me won't be able to ignore them much longer.